Ramini Street says it is on track to achieve its goal of $1 billion. That's with a B in annual revenues in five years' time. That's after the enterprise software provider uh, reported annual revenues that beat expectations. The company, which provides third-party support for companies like Oracle and also SAP, says it plans to make investments that take advantage of the global demand for support solutions. For more, let's bring in uh, Seth Raven, CEO of Rubini Street. He joins us live out of Las Vegas. Seth, great to see you and appreciate awesome. your time. Hope you're keeping safe uh, your side. So uh, this target, a billion dollars uh, top line, within five years, you are on track to uh, meet or potentially uh, beat that. Uh, mm -hmm. i got to ask you, what happens, though, as vaccine rollout proceeds, uh, more people get inoculated, uh, and we get closer to herd immunity and, uh, and normalization, as it were. What happens to demand for uh, the stuff that uh, you provide then? Well, actually, demand uh, continues to increase because what we're really in the business of doing is helping companies rationalize and optimize their IT spending. That never changes. Uh, we've helped uh, many companies through the pandemic and it's very interesting, you know, the pandemic has been a tale of two different stories, obviously an incalculable toll on human life, but the amazing side of this story has really been the digital transformation has been accelerated across the world and especially in Asia, where we've seen a lot of uh, older processes, uh, traditional business processes have been replaced with things like electronic signatures, and routing that were previously difficult in Asia. Seth, uh, so what then is uh, the pipeline looking like in terms of new enterprise clients now that we have uh, the makings of a global uh, economic recovery? And what does that pipeline look like specifically in a post-pandemic era? Well, for us, we've seen the largest pipelines in our history as we've reported in our earnings. We've seen that because again, digital transformation needs to be funded. And the way that companies are funding it now is they're reducing their cost of their big ERP operations. This is the specialty of Romini Street where we're the largest independent player in the world. And we come in we help lower those ERP costs, get them better service. And we are freeing up funds that normally would have gone to the big vendors and allowing them to reinvest that in these digital transformation exercises. So as the world continues to accelerate digital transformation, we play a critical role in the funding side as well as managing these large ERP systems. Uh, when you look around uh, the, the broader sector and uh, your, your peers and your competitors, and when you look at the Salesforce Slack deal in particular, Seth, what does that tell you about uh, future market trends, consolidation in your space, and is Rimini Street looking to shift as well towards uh, the social software integration to support remote working? Well, our whole world is focused around big ERP and enterprise systems. As you're watching these companies consolidate around the social, the collaborative, the remote and distant uh, execution, where we're looking at home offices more than regular offices. While we're looking at this big transformation of the digital workforce, Ramini Street is well positioned because these big ERP systems are what run every single company and government operations. So we're on the back end. And again, by optimizing these systems in the back end, we're creating the opportunity for accelerated digital transformation. So we're not going to participate much in the social changes that are happening at the software level. It's our job to run these systems and support these big global systems. So for us, this is all opportunity. Right. And again, in terms of the competitive landscape, it is quite intense, Seth. I'm sure you agree. You're going up against Panaya, Spinnaker, a host of other software solutions providers. Where does that leave pricing and uh, margins moving forward? Mm -hmm. Well, we've, uh, we've been hitting over 60% gross margin and we're guiding uh, to mid 60s by 2026 when we expect to hit uh, the $1 billion plus revenue number. So for us, our margins are increasing, but that's due to investments in technology such as AI and machine learning 
Uh, we've even brought down the time to resolve cases by over 20% just by the use of AI and machine learning. So there is a, a lot of technology being brought into the support business of running enterprise systems, as well as managing them day to day in the operations. Uh, that's how we're going to grow those margins with other efficiencies and process. And you're right. I mean, we are 10 times larger than our closest competitor uh, with uh, Gartner estimating we're over 86% of the global market. So we have already created a duopoly with Oracle and SAP in the large to very large complex global systems arena, but it is very competitive. Seth, last question is about risks. Uh, big data analytics uh, appears to be coming under increased regulatory scrutiny. Is that going to be uh, an issue for you that could blunt growth momentum at Rimini? No, not at all. In fact, we're helping our clients adjust to these. As you know, privacy policies worldwide continue to evolve, very complex. Where can you keep data? What data you can keep? Add in there the analytics on top of it. Uh, Ramini Street itself uh, deploys some of the most advanced analytic products, whether that's Snowflake or others. Uh, we are in the business of helping customers look at these big ERP systems, run them better, figure out how to get their data out of it, make sense of that data, and really improve their overall global operations. And we cover all of those things for our clients. And that's why I think you're seeing pipelines at record numbers. Uh, and the kind of growth we had last year where we guided to 10% and less, uh, we delivered over 16% during a pandemic. So I think you're watching already the accelerated growth that we said we would deliver to the market all towards our billion dollar goal by 2026. Seth, great conversation. We've got to wrap it up there just out of time. Thank you for joining us, sir. Seth, uh, right in there you. Good to off see you again. Rimini Street. Absolutely, sir. Thank you.